So what's going on here is that um, your nephew is standing here, but he's more at your side. And what that means is he's more like a contemporary to you. I know he was younger than you, but this means on a soul level, you guys have known each other before and you were close friends, if not in a past life brothers. Now, I can also tell you he has a very outgoing personality, very upbeat, very optimistic this was his exit point, which means 23 is what he's showing me his exit point is. So he died at 22. What, what that says to me is he took the first um, exit to leave, meaning he signed up to leave this world at a young age regardless. So if anyone questioned if they should have done more, gotten different um, care, in the end, he was going to exit at an early age regardless. Okay? Um, I'm supposed to bring up the bill or will. Do we know who this is? And then I'm supposed to reference the man that's with him that would be a grandfather or father figure who died before him that was there to greet him. Do you have any clue who the Bill Will William is? Uh, I would have to think. Look into it. Okay. And then I'm supposed to reference the man on your mom's side, your maternal grandfather that died. Did you yeah, know him? I did. Was this your nephew's grandfather or great-grandfather? Because mm -hmm. all I know is this man is standing here with his hand on nephew's head, which just means he's not alone, he's in good care. I'm supposed to bring up the St. Patty's Day. Somebody has a birthday, anniversary, or a passing right on or around St. Patrick's Day, which okay. usually means within days of that. He's right. talking about, does he have a brother? Does your nephew have a brother who's living? He's pointing to him. Do you know when his birthday is? Uh, Scott's birthday is in October. My birthday is tomorrow. That's it. Okay, so he's bringing up the happy birthday. So bottom line, if he's saying it's coming up, it's around this time, and celebrate, it means just honoring you. He's talking about driving with you in the car. Oh my God, I'm getting a download of stuff. He's talking about Justin Timberlake. Does that mean anything? Have you listened to his music? And I'm supposed to bring up the keyboard or the piano. And I don't know, did you, do you play the piano? Uh, he did. He did. He's talking about that. You're supposed to write music with him. He's working with you like he's going to channel songs or just divine out of the blue ideas for you with music and he was pushing you to go down that road loves your sense of humor loves your energy loves your kind of just upbeat nature and so meaning you and him are a lot alike and i don't know if you ever um recognize that in life or if he did now i'm supposed to bring up michael or matthew or who's this m male he's extremely close to is that do you know who that is i have to think on it Okay. Okay. No, he's pointing to you. That means that person, the M male, is tied to you. It's somebody you would be close with, somebody who walks into your life that he's smiling at because he's behind this. See what happens. Sometimes it okay. takes time for it to play out. Um, do, you have a, do you have a cat or dog in the house living with you? Uh, I did until very recently. Okay. Then. Was this a cat? Mm -hmm. The cat's with him. Okay. Now, I'm hearing meow in my head. Okay, which simply says your cat, the soul, is in good hands. If he can do something for you now, it's to make sure that that baby of yours is okay. Um, hold on. You're going to actually, this might sound bizarre, but you're going to feel something like brush up against your leg, and that's the cat's energy giving you a sign. Um, hold on. October. Why is October significant? Is this... Uh, that, uh, he was born in October. Your nephew. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm supposed to bring up um, his mother who is living. Mm -hmm. She's either, Is she Catholic? Do you know if she's mm -hmm. um, religious? Because there's something about this will help put her mind at ease, that he's in a good place. If he's showing me a cross, it means he's with God. Okay, once we cross over, religion is not really important right. because we all become one. So that's not what he's focusing on. But his mom needs to hear it from that angle, so she's more okay with this, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, do we know who Kate or Catherine is? Kathy? Uh, I'd have to think of it. Ask okay. his mom. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to ask you about Scooby-Doo, and I have no idea why. Has okay. that come up recently? We should be writing all this down. I you, know. You, know, you have it on video. You, have, you, have, watch you watch it. You, you watch will it back. need to, because most of the time, sitting here, you're overwhelmed. It doesn't make sense. Right. After the fact, it will. Um, he's talking about Scooby-Doo. Now, it's either Scooby-Doo is going to be some sign or reference, or the dog, okay? Okay. It's going to have meaning. Hold on. Okay, so something bizarre. Do you drive like a little Mini Cooper? Uh, no, I don't, but okay. his whole family, they, they've always wanted to get a Mini Cooper. He's like, talking about driving the Mini Cooper, and he's smiling about it. It's like a joy ride, and it's yeah. this feeling of him being behind that experience, meaning getting the car, going mm -hmm. for rides mm -hmm. in the convertible. Um... He, w he wants everyone to keep living. He's showing me this move forward, move forward, which you've done. And maybe some of the family has gotten really stuck in their grief. 
with his passing. Is this four to five years ago? Uh, it was 2005. Okay, so yeah, about that. And he's showing me this. Some people are carrying on and some people are having a really hard time, which is obviously normal. But he, the greatest gift you guys can give him is by living fully. He keeps showing me celebrate the birthday coming up, which means the best thing you can do for him is to allow him to live through you to find the good times. Um, you're supposed to go, are you going to Mexico? Do you just talk about a trip down south? Uh, not that I know of. He's showing me this trip down to Mexico, and it would be with a friend. It doesn't feel like it's with family. Okay. Okay? Um, let me just put it out there. San Diego, it's that kind of area, Mexico, and he's behind this happening. So you okay. get an invitation next week, then you'll know he's okay. telling you that one. Um, this is not like, you don't have, do you have a tattoo? Mm -hmm. He's doing this like. Was it in honor of him? Is there any connection to him? Mine's not, but everybody in the family got a tattoo. He's smiling, not. like amazed or overwhelmed about the tattoo in connection to him. Like people look yes. at it, obviously activate. Yes, this. his mother got one, his father okay. got one, his brother got one, his aunt got one. He's very humbled and grateful about it. Surprised, because it doesn't feel like it's their character to go out and get tattoos, but knows they did it. I gotta, I'm on the air in five minutes. Okay, done. Okay, time to debrief. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have that raw afterward? By the yeah. way, also yeah. his mother.